Okay, we are worried about whether this beautiful new aircraft design is safe. We need to work out um, whether the wings are strong enough to allow the plane to make this turn. So what do we want the plane to do? We want it to be able to go in a circle of radius 3 kilometers. at a speed of 800 kilometers per hour. Now we know that for anything to move in a circle, there has to be a force towards the center. And we can know what that force is. There must be a force towards the center uh, of m v squared over r. Now what is supplying this force? Well, there's no gravity towards the center. It's not attached to a giant piece of elastic. What's probably happening is the plane is banking into the circle. We know that when the plane is flying on the level, the lift is upwards. So that lift naught. And as it flies at a constant altitude, that must balance the downward force of gravity. So, normally, L0, the lift force, equals mg. But how about when it's going around a circle? In this case, it's presumably banking in towards the circle. So the lift, L, is at some angle. Um... Let's call that angle there, theta, to the vertical. That means there is a component of the force inwards, which must be equal to that, to keep it in a circle. And there is also a component that is vertical, which must be equal to mg, to stop the aeroplane from either rising or falling. So, what do we know? To stop the aeroplane going up or down, they must have L cos theta equals mg. And to allow it to go in a circle, we must have that L sine theta equals mv squared over r. Let's go over that banking business again to make sure it makes sense. It's certainly my own experience, having spent too much time on planes, that when a plane turns a corner, it banks in towards the corner. So that makes sense. We also know that to travel in a circle, there must be a component of force towards the centre, so that makes sense. And we also know that planes can fly in circles um, while not going up or down, so the vertical force must balance the downward gravitational force. Uh, planes do this a lot while coming into Sydney Airport, circling endlessly. So it all seems to make sense. So we have two equations to solve. What do we want? We want to know this um, lift force and make sure it's not four times L0, the lift when the plane's just flying along horizontally. We have two simultaneous equations, one with a cos, one and with a sine. You can solve them in a variety of ways. You could, for example, divide one by the other, um, which will give you tan theta equals something. You can then solve for theta, then plug that value of theta back in to get L. However, there is an easy trick here. As you may remember, cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. So if we square this and square that and add them together, we get L squared cos squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is equal to 1, equals m squared g squared plus v to the fourth over r squared. So that gives us that l equals m root g squared plus v to the fourth over r squared. 
let's check that makes sense. Um, if the plane is heavier, then L is bigger, which makes sense. If G is larger, then the lift needs to be bigger. If it's going faster, it needs more lift. And if the radius is smaller, it makes more lift. So that all makes sense. How about the units? Lift is a force, so that's mass times acceleration. So here you've got mass times mass times acceleration squared square root thereof, so that works right. And here, so that's units of meters per second squared. Here you've got meter squared uh, velocity to the fourth, so that's meters to the fourth um, over seconds to the fourth, divided by meter squared. So that gives you meter squared over seconds to the fourth, take the square root, all works. So this works dimensionally and it also works plausibly. Put numbers in. I did this on my calculator and it comes out as m times 19.2. When the plane is flying horizontally, L0 is just going to be mg. So m times 9.8. So here we've got m times 19.2, which means that it's about twice the lift that's required when it's just flying horizontally. But given it can take up to four times the lift, that means it's fine. So this is safe. The plane can fly.